You can make magnesium oil at home. It is fast, simple and way cheaper. You also have the opportunity to customize the concentration as needed. Additionally, you can easily avoid any unwanted additives or preservatives. To make magnesium oil, you will need magnesium chloride flakes. They are the primary ingredient and can be purchased online or at health food stores. Magnesium chloride is highly soluble in water and is easily absorbed through the skin, which is the reason that often magnesium oils or lotions are called transdermal. Distilled water. You can purchase it from a pharmacy, drugstore or order online and it will be the optimal variant and best case scenario, but if you don't have it at hand, feel free to use filtered tap water. If you use distilled water, you can avoid any impurities or minerals that might be present in tap water, which could, in theory, interfere with the effectiveness of the magnesium oil, but it is not of crucial importance. Measuring cup to have the proportions right. Mixing bowl, pot or container to mix the solution. A non-metallic spoon, a funnel is optional. A clean spray bottle for storing the magnesium oil. Of course, you can use a simple bottle and not a spray one. The spray is for convenience of application. Here I am repurposing an empty bottle from a hand sanitizer. The best would be to use dark glass bottle to help protect the solution from light, but any color bottle would work perfectly fine. How to make the magnesium oil step by step. Pour the water into a suitable pot and bring it to a boil on the stove. It is to further ensure that it is as close to sterile as possible and free of any bacteria and impurities. Then measure the magnesium chloride flakes. Put one cup of flakes into the heatproof mixing bowl. Carefully measure the same amount of boiling water and pour it over the magnesium flakes in the pot. Stir the solution until the flakes are completely dissolved. It takes less than a minute. The mixture will have a slightly oily feel even though it is not actually an oil but a hypertonic solution of magnesium chloride. Allow the solution to cool to room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure that the mixture is completely cool before transferring it to spray bottle to avoid any potential for burns or damage of the bottle. Label the bottle and write down the date it was made. Store it in a cool dark place to maintain its potency. Magnesium oil made with distilled water should have a shelf life of about 6 months to a year when stored properly and at least 3-4 weeks when using filtered boiled tap water. Now how to use the magnesium oil you already have. Before applying the oil on large sections, perform first a patch test by spraying a small amount where the skin is thin and gentle like on your forearm and then wait for 24 hours to check for any adverse reactions. Expect a tingling sensation. A mild tingling sensation is normal, especially if you are new to using magnesium oil and if you are deficient in magnesium. If, however, the sensation is too intense, rinse the area with water and dilute the oil further before applying again. If you find the magnesium oil too strong or if it causes irritation, you can dilute it with more distilled water. We started with 1 to 1 ratio, 1 cup of magnesium chloride to 1 cup of water. You can try with 1 to 2 ratio, 1 cup magnesium chloride to 2 cups of water. And on the other hand, if you find that you can tolerate or benefit from a higher concentration, add more magnesium chloride to the same quantity of water. Always adjust as needed based on your sensitivity and comfort. For an optimal absorption, apply magnesium oil to large muscle areas such as the legs, arms, abdomen, back if you can or you have the assistance to do so, or at the bottom of the feet. It is a great way to relax tense muscles after a gym or because of an uncomfortable position. I personally use it on the soles of my feet before sleep, especially after a long day where I could use some help to relax. Always avoid applying magnesium oil to sensitive areas or open cuts. After you apply it, let the magnesium oil sit on the skin for at least 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing it off or applying a moisturizer if desired. This allows for maximum absorption. For best results, especially if you have magnesium deficiency, which two-thirds of people have, apply magnesium oil consistently, starting with daily application, let's say once a day, and adjusting the frequency based on your body's response. And then you can always use it occasionally when needed. Consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen, especially if you have an underlying health condition or if you are taking other medications. And that's all for today. I will see you again in my next video. Stay happy and healthy. Bye.